The Poly Studio can automatically zoom in on the speaker in a meeting room. In this video, I'm going to share my first impressions of the Poly Studio video conferencing system for hybrid meetings. Marcus here, helping you engage better with your audience. This video is not sponsored. Poly lent me the Poly Studio for testing. Learn more about it with the links in the video description below. So what exactly is the Poly Studio? It is a video conferencing camera, microphones and speakers in one device. It works with Zoom, Teams, Skype, Google Meet or any other video conferencing software. The Poly Studio currently retails for just under $800 US. Here's how to set it up. Plug in the power cable, plug in the USB cable, and that's it. That's all you have to do. It will show up as a USB camera, as a USB microphone, and as USB speakers. And then you can select them in your video conferencing software, or actually in any other software as well. The clips you are about to see from my testing were actually recorded with OBS Studio. You can mount the Poly Studio on a table stand or on a wall mount, and both of them actually come in the box. Or you can mount it on a tripod. Because it's a Poly device, we can expect great sound. So it does have noise suppression and echo cancellation built in. And we're actually going to test that in this first clip. In this sample, the Poly Studio was placed just next to my projector, and that projector is actually making quite a lot of noise. So we're going to be able to see if the noise suppression in the Poly Studio is able to deal with that fan noise. This is an audio and video sample of the Poly Studio at approximately one and a half meters distance. Microphone check one two one two. Microphone check one two. I'm now going to get up and walk to the other end of this table. I've now arrived at the other end of the table and let's see how long it takes for the studio to zoom in. There we go. Now the camera is also adapting a little bit to this potential overexposed situation. This is an audio and video sample of the Poly Studio at approximately five meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. I'm now going to have a seat here next to me. and Let's see if the camera can follow me. This is an audio video sample of the Poly Studio at approximately five meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. Now taking a seat here, approximately one and a half meters from the device. And now I see that the camera is adjusting to follow me. This is an audio video test of the Poly Studio. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. My impression of this test is that the sound is really, really good. The device actually has six different microphones that will zone in on the speaker. So even if you're not sitting too close to the device, it is going to pick up your voice. And as for the fan noise, I was not able to hear any of that on the recording. But let me know in the comments if you were able to hear it. In this second clip, I made two adjustments to my testing setup. Firstly, I noticed that my face was overexposed. So I turned away those lights that I had in my face previously. Secondly, I turned off the projector in the room. That's why you will see me looking into the phone to determine if I'm in frame or not. This is an audio video sample of the Poly Studio at approximately one and a half meters distance. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Microphone check one, two. I'm now going to stand up and walk to the other side of the room where we have our stage area. And we're going to check how well the Poly Studio can follow my voice and reframe me now that I'm standing here on stage. I'm quickly going to check the framing here on the screen on the phone and the studio has already picked me up correctly. 
This is an audio video sample of the Poly Studio at approximately five meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. I'm now going to sit down on the chair right here next to me. and We're going to check how well the camera is able to follow me. So I'm going to grab a seat right here and check the framing on my phone. Currently, I am in one corner, but there we go. The camera is adjusting accordingly. This is a sample on the Poly Studio at approximately five meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. And now I'm going to move down a couple of seats even closer to the camera to complete this test. This is the seat that I have chosen. I have my phone with me to check my framing. Currently, it is zooming out, and now I have myself on the side of the image. This is a sample of the Poly Studio at approximately one and a half meters distance. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. My impression is that the speaker tracking works really well on the Poly Studio. Sometimes it slowly pans to the speaker, but sometimes it also does a hard cut. The video quality is decent, but you do lose some of it when you are zoomed in. And the way I understand the device is that it has a 4K camera, but it does not have any optical zoom. So what it actually does when it zooms in is that it just selects a portion of that frame and blows it up. That's why you lose a little bit of that video quality. Another thing I really like about the Poly Studio is that when you power it on, it looks like a Cylon. This is an audio video sample that I recorded with the Poly Studio while I was making this video. And there is actually currently massive construction noise behind me. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to test that noise suppression functionality. I had the opportunity to test out the Poly Studio in a real life hybrid meeting earlier this week. And people were really impressed by the face tracking features. The people in the room felt that they were seen and the people who were joining online, they also got a lot of value out of the fact that they could actually see clearly who was speaking. And that's actually more important for building inclusive hybrid meetings than the pure video quality itself. And in terms of audio, the response from the other meeting participants was amazing. Overall, they were really impressed by the Poly Studio for hybrid meetings. This type of device is called a video bar and the Poly Studio is a good representation of this technology. You place it at the end of the room. An alternative approach would be to use a 360 degree camera that you place in the middle of the meeting room table. For example, a Meeting Owl Pro. I have a link to that in the video description as well. And I'm actually looking forward to comparing a video bar and a 360 degree solution and see what the pros and cons of both of these systems are. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I publish that comparison. In the meantime, check out the Poly Studio with the link in the description below the video. So we saw that the Poly Studio is a great solution for amazing audio in your hybrid meetings, but there are other solutions as well. Click or tap the screen right here to watch my full video about different approaches to audio in hybrid meetings that will make sure that you sound great both in the room and online. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.